Um, well, third album and the fourth album. Uh, well, third album was made after three years. You had um, Beautiful Garbage, 2001. Well, a bit strange album because it was released uh, around the 9-11 uh, attacks. What are your quick thoughts on that album? There's a lot on that album that we're still really proud of. and, and um you know, I think that was maybe more than any of the others where we tried to branch off a little bit and, and try to go in some different directions. And that's never bad. Um, and, uh, you know, we're still playing songs from that album. It, it, yeah, it was a tough time when it came out and the, just the, what was going on in the music business was really weird. The music business was just starting to kind of collapse at that point. And uh, they were going for this new metal yeah. Remember that? Remember that it was like really heavy going back to that thing and on the radio. So it was a little weird, bit of a weird time for us, but um, we're still proud of it. And then, well, the last album, uh, 2005, Bleed Like Me. What are your thoughts on that album? Four years after the third album, was it a hard al album to make? Yeah, I think that was probably the most frictious of, of all, all the al albums that we've ever made. There was a lot of tension. Um, by this point, you know, we'd been an indie band on an indie label that got sold to a major, major player in the music industry. And it brought a lot of pressures and a lot of expectations and a lot of, I don't know, like the record label not being happy with our, just our general sound, our general personality, our general, the thing that makes us authentic is not what they were looking for because they couldn't get it played on radio. And so they were constantly trying to get us to work with hip hop producers or like do a, um, you know, a mashup kind of with a, a rapper. And, and we just felt it was not authentic. And, and we, were we would have just been doing it to try and get ourselves some radio play and we didn't want to do that. And as a result, it caused a lot of tension with our label. They thought we were difficult. We probably were. They gave up on us, really. And they sort of gave yeah. up on us, yeah. And what, the album? I love the record. Really, really yeah, love yeah. the record. And, well, you had a uh, well five-year gap when you actually started recording again. Um, what Did you stay in touch? Yeah, we did, actually. Um, you know, Shirley's good friends with my family, and, and uh, you know, I'm business partners with Butch, and yeah. we see Duke from time to time. And, you know, we just needed a time time off from touring so much and, and being locked in the studio all together for a long period of time. And I think it was really definitely the right thing for us to do to take a good chunk of time off. We maybe should have done that in the past too, more. <laughs> <laughs> why, why are you laughing now? Well, because I think our compass got really skewed. And, and we did get, we were overworked and we stretched ourselves too far and we lost all perspective. About, about our role as musicians, as artists, as human beings, as friends, everything. We just lost, we lost the plot. What was the official starting point for you for this new album? What, who, who, who made the first step? Who made the first phone call? Who? Uh, Shirley did. Yeah. And, you know, she basically <laughs> rounded us up and, you know, got the idea going that it would be fun to play some shows again and if we're going to do so, Maybe we, it would be smart to record a few new songs. and um, So we all got together in a studio for a week and, and just to see how it went. It could have easily been a disaster, but it turned out that it was really good why did and you, fun. Why did you call them again? Well, I was actually, I don't know if you remember this, but it was your daughter Ruby's birthday and I was yeah. in Palm Springs with you, right. sitting we, by the pool, drinking some drinking. margaritas. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, I was like, I want to make another record, and Steve was like, I do too. Yeah. And so it was pretty easy. It was really simple, but. Uh, yeah, when when the time was right, it totally made sense and felt right. 